So let's talk about the accents, because I love you two giving it the Cockney. Uh, did you work with dialect co coaches? How did you work to kind of perfect the, the sound of your team? I listened to him a lot. <laughs> like, I was like, I was following his lead, but yeah, there was a brilliant uh, dialect coach for me named Jamison Bryant. She was really great. Um, she you was know, amazing. And I, I trained for a while, so I knew dialects, uh, uh, but I really wanted to get this one right. Like, I wanted to make sure he felt authentic. I wanted to make sure he felt like, you know, I wanted viewers to be confused about if they knew if I was English or actually American, and I hope it came off that way. I didn't want yeah. to fight anybody in the UK in the street for them coming after my accent, so I tried to do the work, you know. Was there any word you found particularly fun to say in Cockney? Was there anything that you sort of stumbled on that took a while to, to get to get right? Oh man, oh, well, oh, what was the one that I had to do that over and over again? I had to do this uh, warm up called Betty Botter Bought Some Butter. <laughs> and it was the removal of the teas for me. Like, Betty Botter Bought Some Butter. <laughs> and I was like, this is really fun, but what the fuck am I saying, man? Uh, but I had a lot of help, so it was it was good. I love the, the accent. Can you talk about getting your head around doing the accent? Were there any words you found particularly fun to say and that you stumbled? Yeah, there was a word that, I, so one of the things I did to prepare for my accent, well, me and my dialect coach, Jameson Bryant, um, who's amazing, we prepared three different accents, presented them to David, and then he chose the one that wound up in the movie. Um, and I think the one word that I really struggled with, because how I kind of helped prepare myself was I read the entire script out loud, including stage direction and everything, to my fiance as like an exercise for myself. And one word that I could not pronounce for the longest time was interior. Because in, a, and I can't even say it, fucking English is hard, you know? But like interior, like they say interior, train car, and then the scene happens. And so that, but that's between every scene, interior, exterior, this, that. So every time interior came up, I was like, interior, oh, I don't know how to say this word. <laughs> At least that wasn't an actual line you had to say in it. Like, no, but then I, but then it became annoying for me. So then I was like, I need to learn how to say the fucking word. So you I, do it now? Are yeah. you, have you perfected it by now? I mean, I fucking hope so. Yeah. I mean, let me see if I can do it. No, I'm gonna embarrass yeah. myself because there's cameras rolling. Interior. That's brilliant. It's fine.